Okay, really easy one today. Which way does electricity flow? Dead easy question that every fucker can have a go at. Even if electric's a bit confusing for you. Like, even if I change my drawing to this one, and that makes you feel queasy just looking at it, you've still got a 50-50 chance of getting this right. By the way, you probably notice they're kind of the same thing, just the weirder looking one is just simplified. So to get your answer, we only need to look at the positive and negative on the battery. See, even if you didn't know that this symbol meant positive and that this one meant negative, you've still got a 50-50 chance of getting it right, you little thicko. <laughs> does it flow from the negative to the positive or does it flow from the positive to the negative? Remember it's a battery and they only flow one way. If you answered that electricity flows from positive to negative, you were right. While if you answered negative to positive, you were also right. And if you shouted at your screen, fuck off, get your own answer, then you're a legend and are definitely going to like the rest of my videos. You see, normal people look at the positive symbol meaning giving something, while the negative sign symbolises taking away. So conventionally, this would make you think the positive is giving something to the negative, in this case, balls of electricity. So this is called conventional current, yay if you're in that camp. While those who study the dark arts of science and shit, Ugh, I'm doing science. No, electrons are negatively charged, and it's them that give it legs around the electrical circuit. This is the actual way electricity flows, and is bizarrely called the electron flow. Now, whatever camp you're in, you're wondering, how can you both be right? Well, when it first came to writing things down and giving names to discoveries of this electrical nature, a bloke called Benjamin Franklin, or Benner to his friends, had the same question you've just had. Like you, he had to make a choice which way electricity flows. But he didn't have gunk in the corner of his lip like you have. Honestly, will you wipe that thing off? You've had it this whole video just sitting there and it's really bugging me. Nope, it's still there. You're not gonna... Never mind. So Benny made his decision to pick what we call conventional flow. This all went into textbooks so people could learn about this stuff. But then, as we went on and learned more, information emerged that things were flowing the other way. You know, the electron flow way but about 150 years of books had done the rounds and certain minds were set so it couldn't be abandoned overnight. Now it's been quite a few weekends since Benny put out conventional current so we could really have changed everything over to a new standardised electron flow way of doing things with a flick of a pen but the fact is to really understand electrics takes a metric shit ton of learning that goes beyond this beautiful video that shows electric as balls. Then there's also the possibility that a new discovery could turn what we think now on its head, so we'd be going back and forth like AC current. To avoid confusion, you can pick either way of electric flow and be right. The thing is to stick with the logic that appeals to you, and as always, remember the golden rule. Rolling videos are fucking awesome. Kisses!